Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to feature the October card kit by Simon Sestamp and I'm going to create 10 cards. Although the kit is already sold out, I got tons of emails and comments on uh, making my 10 cards with this kit, so there you go. Now first let's take a quick look on what's inside the kit. So you get this stamp set that has brush strokes as well as some uh, sayings for your sentiments. Uh, you get this Simon's stamp embossing powder in dark blue that matches perfectly the colors of the kit. You get uh, some uh, matte medium glue, an embossing pen which is great for embossing little details when you don't want to use that big ink pad. And this is a disposable glue brush. You also get a thin die to cut out a little flower. You also get this beautiful paper pad. It uh, has 6x6 pattern papers. They are all double-sided and on one side you will get this beautiful foiling. So these are extra special papers that can uh, make any card look beautiful without doing a lot of things on top of it. And that's exactly what I will do for today's video. Now you also get two envelopes and finally your cardstock in four different colors and this beautiful satin one. I am going to link everything separately down below in case you want to get something since the kit is already sold out. I always cut this uh, cardstock to create my card bases and since I have only four I'm going to bring in one more and I happen to have the exact same color but you can bring in a white one. So after cutting and scoring everything I have 10 card bases which I am going to use and decorate. Now as you can see the pattern paper in this kit is uh, just gorgeous with all that foiling and uh, I d really love the color combination so I don't think that you really need to do a lot on uh, top of your cards. The pattern paper is going to do the job for you and uh, you will see that all the 10 cards that I'm going to create are super quick and simple and I actually made uh, all 10 of them in less than 2 hours. So all I'm doing here is just adding some foam tape at the back of this panel and I'm going to stick that on top of my card base. This is going to be a thank you card so I'm going to bring in my stamp set and I'm going to use the thank you sentiment from uh, this. I'm going to emboss it on a piece of uh, pink paper and then I'm going to stick it on top of my card. And I used the blue embossing powder included in the kit to do the embossing. Super quick and simple. Now I'm going to move on to the next card. And I have this beautiful paper which is a leftover from the previous card. So I'm going to use uh, my scissors to cut out some of the flowers as well as the leaves. This uh, is uh, going to help me to pop up those uh, elements on top of my card and create a little flower bouquet for a birthday card. I'm not cutting directly on top of the line, I'm just uh, leaving a border around it which is really making my life easier while trying to fuzzy cut this flower. And you can see here that I have cut out all the elements and uh, now I'm working directly on my card base and this is going to be a birthday card so I'm going to stamp happy birthday. I'm going to do some embossing so I'm stamping with my Versa marking and then I'm going to apply some rose gold embossing powder. The sentiment would look great if you emboss it with uh, the navy embossing powder that is included in the kit and uh, since it matches perfectly the colors of uh, the flowers and the leaves. And now it's just a matter of uh, sticking all my elements and creating my flower composition. Now, as I am doing that, just to let you know that I find this uh, kit really gorgeous. I just love the, um, the color combo and that pattern paper is just gorgeous. I am going to link you down below to the paper pad in case you want to get just that. But I think it is sold out. Anyway, I'm going to leave links below uh, wherever I can find it. And notice that uh, for some elements I use a tape runner and for others I used the foam squares just to add that dimension that I always love on top of my cards. And my card is finished. Now the next card is going to be super quick and simple. This is one of the pattern papers from the kit which uh, I'm just going to use and stamp on top one of the sentiments from the stamp set. 
this pattern paper is just gorgeous with all those brush strokes and uh, that um, foiling so all I'm going to do is to just stamp the uh, sentiment that says you are loved and to do that I'm using my stamping platform just because I need to make sure that I will not uh, make a mess out of my pattern paper since I have only this one and um, then uh, since this is all about love I decided to add some uh, little hearts and for that I'm going to use the rest of the pattern paper that I have cut out and with a punch I'm going to punch out a few hearts there and just stick them coming out of the sentiment finally I'm going to stick this panel directly on top of my card base and this is going to cover it completely and my card is finished now I'm going to use one pattern paper for each card so for the next card it's going to be this beautiful one with the pink and uh, rose gold uh, circles I used one rectangle die to cut out a, a little panel which I'm going to stick directly on top of my card base for my sentiment I'm working on the leftovers from this pattern paper and I'm going to stamp with Versa marking in one of those pink circles the uh, phrase that says you got this and it fits perfectly inside that circle I'm going to emboss it with uh, rose gold embossing powder and you can punch it out if you have a punch that matches perfectly that size or you can use one of your dies now this foil strip matches perfectly the rest of the foiling in this card and that's just because this is a leftover from the pattern paper that I used from the previous card I have cut out just a little thin strip and now I'm going to add a foam square at the back of my sentiment and just stick it there I also have a leftover heart from the previous card and uh, I'm going to stick that just next to the sentiment also it is foiled and matches perfectly the foiling on this card and I'm going to call this card done for this card I'm going to combine two different pattern papers and I'm going to use my rectangle dies these dies by the way have a nice stitching around them so they give a beautiful detail and I'm going to stick uh, the smaller panel on top of uh, the larger one by the way the darker one with the dots is uh, cut out to be exactly as a standard card so it's going to cover it up completely and I just love the combination of those two papers one on top of the other with all that foiling it makes the card uh, so special and I don't think that you really need to do anything else on the top of this card so all I'm going to do is just stick it on top of my card base and then I'm going to stamp the sentiment with black ink si as simple as that now for my next card I have cut out this uh, panel with those uh, foiled dots and uh, I was planning in the beginning to stick that as it is directly on top of my card base but you will see that I'm going to change my mind later on so I still have this left over and I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the flower so this is going to be my focal point I'm going to use one of my circle dies to cut out a window so that I can nest my flower inside and I just try to decide which uh, size I'm going to use and uh, finally I went with a smaller one and uh, I'm going to make a good use of all the leftovers that I have from previous cards so at the back of uh, my window I'm going to add some foam tape and then I'm going to cover it up with that piece of uh, navy blue paper which is a leftover from a previous card and this is going to provide a nice uh, background for my flower so that it helps it uh, stick out with a contrasting color also I'm not going for a shaker card here I just want to have a bit of dimension and I want to have my window a bit raised so I'm going to add a foam square at the back of my flower and stick it inside that uh, window and I'm going to stick this panel on top of uh, another pattern paper that I have cut down to size and this is going to cover up completely the standard card so that's four and a quarter by five and a half 
and instead of using that uh, satin uh, card base, I went with the grey one. Since it's not going to show, I saved it for another card. Now I am going to stamp the sentiment and for that I went with uh, the one that says you are loved and uh, I'm going to stamp it with uh, Versa marking and then apply my embossing powder and that's the one that was included in the kit and by the way it gives a beautiful metallic shine. And here is the finished card. Now for my next card I'm going to use this beautiful pattern paper and I have also cut out some banners. Now I created these banners myself, they are all made out of scraps from the previous cards that I made. So just cut out uh, thin strips without measuring the width at all and um, in various heights and just create face tails at the bottom. And then I'm going to use my tape at the back and I'm just uh, going to uh, place them on top of my card as if they are hanging from that foiled line. This design is one of those designs that I go back again and again when I have uh, lots of scraps from my pattern paper and uh, all you have to do is just create banners and hang them like I do. You can always use uh, a string to hang them from or you can even use ribbons or whatever you feel like. In this case I'm just uh, taking advantage of that uh, foiled line that my pattern paper has. Also notice that the bottom of my banners stick out so they give a bit of dimension on my card and uh, to do that make sure that you add a uh, tape adhesive only at the top of your banners. Now I'm stamping my uh, sentiment with Versa marking and then I'm going to apply some embossing powder and that's uh, a happy birthday card. After heat setting my sentiment I'm going to stick this panel on top of my card base and I'm using the navy one. And my card is ready. And here is another romantic looking card. For that I used the die included in the kit to cut out four different flowers and you see how detailed they are. They are just the outline. I am going to add some uh, glue at the back of my flowers and then stick them in a row. And this is going to be a very soft and romantic looking card. So I have also cut out this uh, strip of uh, the pattern paper with the uh, dots. I'm going to create a fish tail on one end and I'm going to stick that just between those uh, bottom two flowers. I'm using some foam tape at the back to add some dimension. Now to embellish my flowers a little bit more, I'm going to add some uh, pearls at their centers. And of course for that you can go ahead and use your um, white Nouveau Drops. But I went ahead and used those uh, since I had them on my stash. The pattern paper that I used to cut out this strip of paper for my card is solid pink at the back and this is exactly what I'm going to use to stamp my sentiment. Now I hope you cannot hear my uh, stamps screaming there. I just had to cut it out because I want to stamp the phrase you are amazing and all in one line. I don't mind cutting out my stamps, I can always put them back together if I want to and I feel like it gives me more flexibility if I go ahead and uh, cut them out. So another clean and simple card is complete. And here is another quick and simple card just by creating a panel and tying a bow. Now the way this kit is doesn't really give you a lot of flexibility in creating uh, focal points. So you need to uh, get out of your comfort zone and uh, try to create cards just with pattern paper and sentiment. And uh, that's exactly what I'm doing here. So all I did was cut out a strip of paper. I'm going to stick that at the very bottom. So I am just placing it there temporarily so I know where to stamp my sentiment. I'm going to stamp it with Versa marking and then white emboss it. And I used the, the sentiment that says you are going to rock this. After applying my heat and melting the embossing powder, I'm going to stick that panel directly at the bottom and then tie a bow. 
And this is one of the things that I love about having those kits. It's like uh, when I try to create 10 cards without bringing too much of the stuff that I have around me, uh, helps me stretch my creativity and uh, helps me go outside of my comfort zone since I usually work with focal points and things. And this kit has been a great uh, creative exercise for me since instead of having focal points that uh, I would normally have, I try to make that uh, gorgeous pattern paper the focal point and keep everything simple. I have used these uh, two dies to create a frame for my last card out of this gorgeous pattern paper and I'm going for a shaker card so at the back I'm going to add some tape adhesive and stick my acetate there and uh, on directly on top of my card base and at the center I'm going to stamp happy birthday with versa marking and then emboss it with white embossing powder. So I have my sentiment ready to go and at the back of my frame around that window I'm going to add some foam tape. I added some uh, sequins and then stick that uh, window on top of my card base and my card is ready. So here is a quick look on all the 10 cards that I have created for today using the October card kit by Simon Says Stamp. There was a giveaway for this card kit on my blog, but the winner has already been announced. However, there is uh, still running a giveaway on the November card kit, so make sure to check that blog post and enter. And these were the cards for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.